And welcome, everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Daria Sejuani to kick off the day today. We're having an aggro Thursday here. Felt like attacking. We got four decks, three of them donation decks, where we are going to be doing a lot of attacking, playing some Noxus or some Shurima or both in most of these decks. Um, the other, the only one that's not donation deck is going to be the Vladimir Braum. We're going to try that list out because it's looked really great whenever we play against it every time. Um, if you were watching like the stream yesterday or some of the videos from yesterday. All right, but we're playing a different Freljord Noxus deck to start with. We got Daria Sejuani. We got Overwhelm. We're going to be, um, you know, just trying to curve out. We got good early attackers. Uh, we got lots of ones and twos to, to play out early. Then we even have Brothers Bond to get some extra damage in. Wolf Rider will be ramping us to get to our six drops, which are going to be our champions, both Darius and Sejuani. And then Battle Fury at the top end to finish it out. And if it's not enough, Captain Farron. <laughs> we even have, if we're attacking with a whole bunch of stuff, Decisive Maneuver, which of course is amazing with Overwhelm cards, like our Ballista, Wolf Rider, our champions, Ancient Yeti. Um, you know, because you can, whatever they block our Overwhelm, we stun it, the Overwhelm will still do all the damage to the enemy nexus so it should be pretty sweet let's go ahead and get to it let's attack let's curve it out it's be a fun day today yeah wolf rider ramping into farin pretty cool okay daria sejuani let's mulligan mulligan so just mulligan top end cards right like we can find more different top end cards just keeping cheap stuff that's going to kind of be our plan no matter what we play against. Kind of keep our 1, 2s, and 3s, and mulligan the 5, 6s, and 8s. Ancient Yeti is like the exception, right? Like that's a 7 drop that you actually want to keep in your opener. So if, you, if you keep Ancient Yeti in your opener, then it can turn into like a 4 drop. Okay, so we'll see how this kind of works out. I didn't block the Doom Keeper so that I could attack and get like the one point of damage in with attacking. But the problem with not blocking the Doom Keeper is now the Doom Keeper can um, block my Grenadier or Ruthless Raider, whichever way we go. Which is going to be Grenadier. That's a good card. Nope. Because obviously they're going to have the 1-2 block here, so, you know, let's get that there. So they don't get the extra toss in. So if I would have blocked the 2-1 with my 2-1 on turn 1... I would have taken two less damage, and they would have taken one less damage. So it would basically be like, they would be at 19, I would be at 18. If they don't break, they'll burn. You for the money. Get there, Sejuani. I'm assuming the 3 2 life seal is going to block. Yeah, I'm going to say block Ruthless Raider. And we get to just overwhelm the damage. Come on, Agent Iowa. If I just attack with my 3 1 overwhelm and I don't attack with the other thing, it, it does make it pretty easy for them to have use their ephemeral body to block. Here. 
¿eh? It's a burst spell. I don't have to do it right now. Is it even worth attacking with these? Maybe not. Uh, Fire Essem. Welcome to the channel. Hope you're having a very good day as well. Alright, they're down to eight. We'll have Ballista. Okay, yeah. We play our two cards this turn. Open attack next turn with the maneuver. And there we go. Overwhelming attack. Lulu Tarek. Okay. Opponent's trying some support stuff with Lulu Tarek. I feel bad for my opponent. So I think this is going to end it with us, you know, smashing with Overwhelm and everything. But I like Lulu Tarek more than just Overwhelm stuff in general. But unfortunately, I don't think this is going to end well for them. We'll see. <laughs> Alright, so like we talked about before, Mulligan, the 5, 6, and 8 mana cards. Keeping Ancient Yeti, though, because, um, you know, the whole round end reduced the cost by 1. It's a good card to keep. Well, unfortunately, I won't be able to deal damage to them on the turn four for the Wolf Rider, but it's all good. Well, this isn't the blade. So Lulu blocks the 2 1. Goat blocks the 4 3. They take 7, go down to 10. I could play the Ancient Yeti that's a 5-5, five, five, but if I My journey begins here, wait just a little bit, the that Ancient Yeti will be much easier to play. They're going to fly. I won't stop now. Yeah, definitely. I like I like the opponent's deck. Going Lulu. Absolutely. Alright, so I make this attack. It's not the best attack, but then I Wolf Rider. And then next turn go Yeti, Ballista, maybe something else. And then the turn after that, Sejuani, and maybe something else. And so basically looking at like the turn, you know, trying to kill them the turn seven, like where we go Sejuani, and we have all this stuff. I think that's a decent plan. Yeah, maybe I should have played the Yeti on turn four. It would have definitely made my it would have made like their attack so much worse because they couldn't just attack with Lulu. I I actually regret that. I I regret playing this Ballista, and not the Yeti on four. I think that playing the Yeti on four was the better play. From how that last turn and this turn played out. But by, by waiting, I do get to just completely unload this turn, right? And just play these three cards all together.
No daybreak. This land is ours. Uh, I'm sorry, Sejuani. I wanted to play you. So they have to do something. This puts them to zero. There we go. This puts them to one. Boat kill the Lulu. Well, if they if whimsy's the plan, they'd have to whimsy first if they're blocking like this. They can either make a block that keeps their Nexus alive or Lulu alive. There we go. Two no. All right, Overwhelm Mirror. They're going the new region with Sharima. We're going old region Noxus. I do have the attack token turn six. Usually I just mulligan the Sejuani, but we do have the attack token turn six, and Sejuani does seem pretty important. I already have like a one, a two, a four. Um, I guess I still mulligan it. It's still a long ways away before we need it. Yuck. Can I have Sedwani instead of Captain Theron, please? I kind of feel like their plan... Ooh! I kind of felt like their plan was going to be the 3-1 that gives vulnerable. And so I was going to just like overwhelm over with the Ruthless Raider. All right, so they have Troll Chant or something similar. I'm just going to attack. Sorry, Ancient Yeti. question is, is, do I actually try to kill this thing, or do I just go with the others? Because I, I feel like they have a troll chant. And so putting the plus two on the saboteur is just kind of useless. kind of feel like maybe I just do the, like, just put it on two other things. You know, like this. And there's the troll chant that I called. Damn it. You cannot hide forever, Nasus. Love drawing the Sejuani, of course. Great card for next turn. Alright, so the Preservarium did draw them into the Enraged Yeti. Don't really like that. We'll find our prey. No retreat. Ouch. Could just attack. Because, like, I play Sejuani. Like, if they have Sejuani, right? Like, I could play Sejuani, but then they have Sejuani, and then that's, like, a mess. I think I maybe just attack with drawing this Brother's Bond. Sweet. This is going to be difficult for them. For sure. All right. Are playing against an aggro... Another aggro mirror. But they're going with the the small 
Shadow Isle Shurima deck. Double Ancient Yeti? I mean, I love Double Ancient Yeti, but... Like, so if we if we get rid of those, we'll have, like, one Ancient Yeti on turn four. The other one will be good to have on turn five. Yeah, I mean, I think I keep them. All right, come on. Low cost. No, low cost units. All right, well... Low cost unit. Yay. We're just going to be playing off the top. Draw the one drop. This turn we draw the two drop. Here's Ruthless Raider. Ruthless Raider. It's a friend, De Death Hand. Ruthless Raider. Iron Blista, okay. Unfortunately, that means we don't get to Death Sand as well with Iron Blista, but oh well. <clears throat> so Blista this turn, Yeti next turn. Everyone's a god. Curse Keeper, Blight of Caretaker, still amazing. Especially having that turn three attack token. The Curse Keeper, Blight of Caretaker combo. Always so good. So yeah, we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna need the Yeti to really do a lot of work for us. I guess probably casting Brothers Bond. You need not follow, but you will witness. Six. It's a lot of damage. There's the Ruthless Raider I asked for on turn two. It showed up. Don't have another Caretaker, please. Please don't have double Caretaker and double Curse Keeper. You don't want to do any attacking. Just pass the turn. None of those cards do anything. Do I need to block? So, like, let's say they attack out. Like, basically, do I need to block with Ruthless Raider, right? Like, that's that's kind of the question. Or can I open attack with Ruthless Raider? I guess they have the Azir to block Ruthless Raider anyway. The Azir does level up. All right, I'll just play the Precious Pet to block the Butcher instead of playing the Ruthless Raider. Oh, wow. What a sweet life. What a sweet life. Wow. What a hand. The double curse keeper, double caretaker, and Azir. So I can either go down to, yeah, so I mean, I guess I just go down to one. Because I can go down to one or go down to two. So, like, I die to Ruinous Path either way. One, Like, one or two. I don't, I don't think there's really any difference between one or two. We can get rid of a blocker, I guess. Um, I don't, yeah, yeah, you can always ask, ask questions and everything. I mean, risky. I mean, what, what's the difference between being at one and being at two? Wow, they did have Ruinous Path. That was an insane hand. That's the best hand I've ever seen that deck out. That's crazy. Hmm. Twisted Fizz. Fizz is fate. Like that. Fizz is fate. Mulligan, Mulligan. Cheaper units, please. Hmm. Battle Fury could do some work. They're not going to really interact with it. No, this is not a Captain Fairy matchup. All right, so not the best start for me. No one drop, and they have their their like best one drops. This is a pretty terrible start. 
<laughs> Thanks, precious pet. Thanks for nothing. Thanks for nothing. Yeah, I like Victor and Zoe together. That's a good combination. Good double spell with these two. <clears throat> Both them playing coral creatures, it makes playing Legion Saboteur less valuable. So I'm just going to go with the regular 4-3. Maybe Ancient Yeti, you know, drawing the Ballista, <clears throat> maybe I shouldn't have played the Ancient Yeti because we drew the Ballista. That's just going to cost 7 mana. Like, what are you doing? Are you planning on playing a 7 mana 6-6 six, six these days? What are we doing? A game. Go on. No outsiders. They like the one twos. So is that emote supposed that emote I feel like this emote's Trindomir, right? Or is this supposed to be Darius? Somebody said this was supposed to be Darius. But I thought I thought this was Trindomir. Still works on our deck. We have like double fist pump. Left hand, right hand. I'm always up for a round okay, it is Darius. The um Okay, so I'm not playing Iron Ballista I have my orders. because I want to play. I want to open attack and play Battle Fury, and so that's we're gonna have six regular mana. So I need to have at least two spell mana. So if I if I would play the Darius, or sorry, sorry, if I play the Ballista, then I, I guess I could play one thing and Ballista, or play three things. And I feel like playing three things is better than you know. So basically, I can either play Ballista or both Saboteur and Precious Pet from here. You know, we're definitely playing one Saboteur. Um, and I feel like playing the two extra things is probably better than the one Ballista. Explosives primed. I mean, yeah, no no red... Yeah. I mean, red card would have only dealt one damage to the Demolitionist, one damage to the Yeti before, but if they would have just been really patient with a red card, that would have been nice for them. But All right, we gonna attack. How do they stop, like five five overwhelm with Battle Fury? I'm really glad we didn't play the Ballista. Ballista would have just gotten eaten up by that. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't think there's anything in Bilgewater PNZ. Like, they don't have any stun. No fear. I guess really how they would have stopped... I guess... Yeah, if they just don't block... That's what they... They should have just not blocked, and then... Yeah, I should... I needed to do that immediately. If they just don't block, then I don't get all that damage in. Then I'll get to play it. All right, so there we go. That does seem like a pretty good matchup. All right, so there we go. Darius Sejuani with a nice four and one. And I seem to always do really well with these Freljord Noxus Overwhelm decks. Every time we play them, we get really good records with them. They're just really powerful. They attack real hard and hard, you know, difficult to stop. Pretty easy to play. You just try to curve out um, and attack a bunch. So not really too much... You know, not really too 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 much difficulty. Um, the Brothers Bonds looked really good. That's not a card that I usually play in this kind of deck, but they did look really good. Um, but yeah, you just you know play your stuff, attack, 
Battle Fury, right? <laughs> That's kind of about it. Captain Farron seems really like too slow. It doesn't really seem like you need Captain Farron, but maybe if you play against like Tar like slow like Targon decks that can slow you down and can heal their Nexus a bunch, maybe that's where you could use some Captain Farrens. But good stuff, you know. That's that's kind of about it. You know, I didn't even play like a Darius, didn't play a Captain Farron, um, didn't play Decisive Maneuver, didn't you know, didn't play a lot of stuff, but just Play your things, attack. You're going to pick up a lot of wins with this kind of deck. It's really good. And also fast games. You know, that was 35 minutes for those five games. Um, I enjoy that. You know, so you get to play some some fast games as well. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Let's let's play some other decks that like attacking. And we'll keep on uh, having some fun and hopefully picking up a bunch of wins. All right, but that's it here for Darius Sejuani. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube... Hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know what you think of the list if you try it out yourself. Hopefully y'all can rank up with this one, this is a good rank up deck. Um, and uh, if you just have any other comments, other decks you want to see on the stream, other ways you play this kind of deck, anything like that. You know, y'all know that I love those comments. But that's it here for Daria Sejuani, so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.